Okay, we'll go over the brightness control move. If you are in a really pitch black setting and you want to practice with a hoop, you want it slightly dimmer, you don't have to wear shades, um, or you want to create a contrast between having a dim hoop to begin with and then a very, very bright hoop later on, there are three settings, three different brightness levels. There's dim, there's normal, and there's fully bright. And they will consume different amounts of power. So if you want the hoop to stay lit for as long as possible, go onto the dim setting and don't use white displays or steady displays. Use ones with fewer LEDs that are strobing or sequencing and stuff, and you will have a hoop that might stay alight for six hours. If you go to the fully bright display and you put it on white, you're going to have a hoop that will last just over half an hour. So that's your range. And normally you should expect about two hours or something like that from the hoop um, before you have to recharge it. Recharge takes two and a half hours, uh, but you can get a pretty good charge in an hour, uh, you know, enough to play for another hour. So um, that's the possibilities. If kids are going to be playing with the hoop, it's probably good to put it on a dim setting. Um, if they're going to, you know, have their eyes pretty close to it. Uh, if you are in a performance, you might want to do your finale with a fully bright or work out which hoops are particularly effective with a fully bright setting. But if you do leave it on fully bright, you know, you are going to chew up the power really quick. So, um, normally I would say just hoop in the normal default setting and then play with the dim and, and the bright settings and see what goes on. Here's the move. So we'll Turn the hoop on, we're in uh, the quiet quiver, um, this may or may not be a good hoop to demonstrate this in, but let's try. We're going to do a right hand isolation, so the right um, hand is going to hold a hoop, we're going to do an iso flip, so down to the bottom and up to the top, and then we're going to rotate the hoop, continuing with the right hand. And as we rotate past about 6 to 9 o'clock, we're going to see different amounts of the hoop light up in orange. So a quarter of the hoop will mean that's dim, half the hoop will mean that's normal, and the full hoop lit up with orange means that's on full brightness. And then we reverse directions, we lock that brightness control in. So here we go. This is a right hand isoflip. Isolate down to the bottom, flip up to the top, do there, steady with the left hand, continue your isolation. There you got a, a, a half, we probably skipped the, f there's the full, there's the quarter, there's the half, there's the full, there's the quarter, let's select that and go back. There we are. So now we're in a dimmer display, um, and we'll continue to be in that display until we do that move again and, and change it. So um, let's now do the move again, like we want to get fully bright. So right hand isoflip, start to rotate clockwise with the right hand, you have the left hand support us. You have a white blink, there it is, like dim, there it is, half, full, reverse the direction, get a white indicator. We're now at full brightness. and. Um, you know, this may not be like the best hoop to demonstrate this with, but it's pretty obvious when you're in person that you got a pretty bright hoop. <laughs> Some of the bitmaps are particularly obvious there um, when you're in a very bright display and they look very good. So um, try out different, um, different displays. We're in fully bright and now I've got to do the move again to bring us back to normal. So flip, rotate, keep rotating, quarter, half, we're in normal, select that, we're back in normal brightness. And it's not, I don't know if it's obvious or not, but um, in person it is. So uh, play with it.